Jamie, it's exciting indeed because we've got little Shongololo. So little Shongile that is sitting here doing her usual thing. She's on the edge of one of the pans looking for terrapins. So she's been staring into the water and I'm sure she's trying to hunt the terrapins that are in there. Now, she's a clever girl because what she's doing is she's using all these pans that are around this area at the moment that are starting to dry out. And so as they start to dry out, so there's less and less space for the terrapins to move and therefore much easier for her to catch food. Now for those of you who don't know what a terrapin is, a terrapin is one of our freshwater turtles basically and they move around in these wallows and for a small leopard like this it's the perfect meal. It means she doesn't have to stalk too much, she can just sit and watch and when a terrapin is silly enough to come out and expose itself she can jump in and grab it. What she'll also be looking for is catfish. Now in some of these little wallows there will be baby catfish that would have gone in there during the sort of rainy times when there was water all over the place and they've now been stranded or cut off and so it's a good place for them to be going after that as well. But isn't she beautiful? Now I wonder where her brother is. Both of them were seen here last night so that's why I came down here just to check but so far I just see her. I haven't seen her brother anywhere. Um, he could be here obviously, he could be just lying in the long grass, there's quite a lot of grass in this area and he's been spending a little bit more time further south of this, so maybe he's wandered a little bit further and she's been left behind at these little wallows. She really is looking good, she doesn't look too skinny either, she looks as though she's making her way, we know that she currently um, has had a good run of things, so for those of you who are not familiar with who Shongile is, Shongile is one of the royal cubs, so she comes from Karula, who's our dominant female in this area. Now, Karula in the last four weeks has not been seen. She's just disappeared out of this area. We're not sure where she is, what she's done, whether or not she's even still alive. So, little Shongila unfortunately was left on her own and she's had to fend for herself all of a sudden because this sort of the separation from mom was a, a very quick one. There was no sort of weaning her off and letting her practice and get used to being on her own before she was left. Um, and so she's unfortunately had it quite tough because she's had to fend for herself but she's really come through it very very well she's figured out that while she's not big enough yet to be able to tackle big impalas and even the smaller antelopes like Dyke and Steenbok she's learned that these terrapins are an easy meal for her at this time of her life and so she's taking full advantage of that and look you can see she's going down towards the water I wonder if she spotted one there and so she's worked out that this is an easy source of protein. It may be not the tastiest meal and not the easiest meal to actually get out of its shell, but it does definitely help with keeping her alive. So she's using that, and then in between that, she's being able to hunt other things. So she's managed to bring down a fully grown diker. Ah, oh, there's Hosanna. He's come out. There he is right there. So we've got the two of them together. Isn't this amazing? Now, I don't know when the last time the two were seen together, so this is really, really special that the two are back together and that they are a little bit of growling between the two of them, but that's amazing. I'm so, so happy that we've got the two of them. Now, they've managed to find one another, which is great news. Now, because they've separated from mom, they then unfortunately separated from one another, and they have been missing each other for sort of days, and yesterday we found tracks for the two of them together, and now I see that they're actually both here and are moving around with one another which is great so that's such fantastic news now I hope that he's going to follow little Shongila because it looks like Shongila is coming our way she's coming over the road which is also great news for us because it looks like they're coming back into Juma we're just on the boundary at the moment and they're south of the boundary but they look like they're coming back and doesn't he look fantastic so even Osana he's looking so good and he's taken to independent life a lot better than what Shongila did he was much quicker on the draw, he's been hunting a lot, he's even managed to bring down a few impala of his own. Now I'm just going to quickly turn so that we can see what's going on as they cross behind me. So little Shongile is already crossing towards the pans that she loves to go to. So uh, just waiting for Hosanna, here he comes. He's trotting down the road. Hello boy. Look how, he's, look how he's stalking his sister. Isn't this amazing? They are such magnificent animals, these two. They are so, so pretty. 
and in this morning sun, the sun is just starting to rise and you can see those oranges that are highlighting his coat. He really is a beautiful specimen and I can't believe how big he's gotten. I haven't seen him for a while. I keep getting brief glimpses of him, but this is the first time that I'm actually going to spend time with him. And look how he's going down lower. So this is all a game. Shongile is just ahead of him in, these, in this long grass that you see he's walking towards. And he's busy stalking her and going towards her. Absolutely incredible. Now I'm just going to try and keep up with them because it seems these two are, have a habit at the moment of just disappearing on us. We keep getting the situation where we find them and then they go into long grass and we're gone. Taking after their auntie Shadow who's just like that. You find Shadow and next thing she's in the long grass and she's out of here and it takes you about half an hour to find her again. So just got to keep a little bit closer with them. There we go, Shangila is now out on the dam wall. And then we've got Osana coming behind her. Now this is their favorite place to hunt this. And I saw some terrapins just now when I came along. There we go, there goes Osana onto the dam wall as well. So he's chasing behind Shangila who's also gone into that little thicket there. And like I say, this is their favorite place to hunt. They've been spending a lot of time hunting in this area. It's a great little pan that they've got. It's got lots of vegetation and so quite a number of terrapins live inside here. And like I said, when I came past just now, there was a few terrapins that were floating around the edge. And so Shongile is very good at this. What she does is she goes to the edge of this waterhole and she hides away and then she just sits dead still and she waits. And she knows that because the sun is now starting to come up, these terrapins are going to start moving towards the bank to try and warm up. Remember, terrapins need... start coming onto land to be able to absorb sun. So, sorry about that guys. Is that there is a little more vulnerable. There we go, she's just jumped in and chased something. I think she's chased these whistling ducks. You just go forward here. I wonder if she managed to grab one. So we've got some white-faced whistling ducks that have their chicks here as well. Where are you, Shongile? Now, here's the whistling ducks. We can hear them alarm calling. And she just splashed in there. So I don't know if she managed to grab one. But there are the whistling ducks' chicks. And she's been trying to hunt these for weeks now. And I don't think she's actually been able to grab one. And I wonder if maybe she went after a terrapin rather than the ducks. And the ducks just got a fright. She definitely, there was a big splash, so I think she tried to lunge at one, and they all got away. I'm going to try and see if I can go forward and find where Shangila is, because she seems to be somewhere in this little thicket. Hosanna went diving, brother, and if she catches something, I'm sure she... No, it's such a thick area in here. There's the amount of times that I've driven past here and you don't see them and then all of a sudden you come around the corner and one of them's popping out is quite often so now I've just got to find where they actually went because I can't see either of them at this stage. But Sana, he likes to go around the top more. Shungile likes this little thicket on my right hand side. So I'm just trying to see where they went because I don't see them anymore. Ah, oh, there's one of them. Now I'm going to go all the way around, but it is quite spectacular with this light. You can see this beautiful orange light that's just highlighting this leopard who's now sitting in the grass stalking its sibling. So there's that sun coming up over and you can see just in the grass there. Look, he's might, he's might jump. I think it's Hosanna. Difficult to say. But look, he's readying to jump. Now, this leopard is just waiting. See, look. There we go. <laughs> and there's the two of them there together. Isn't that amazing? So, so sweet. And I can't tell you how happy I am that the two of them have found one another. But you can hear Shungil is growling at him. So I think she's irritated because he's ruining her hunting. She wants to try and find food and he's jumping around like a hooligan. So I think she's getting a little bit annoyed. But it's so beautiful. We've got this beautiful backlight. And you can see that golden sun reflecting in the water. And there little Shongile is walking around. Absolutely beautiful. So Pam, you're wondering if Shongile 
is in danger because she's not getting enough nutrients. Well, this week alone, she's had a scrub hair. She's had a adult diker, which unfortunately some of it was stolen by a naughty male lion. She's had, I don't even know how many terrapins. She's eaten catfish. So no, I think she's getting more than enough nutrients to sustain herself. I'm sure she's absolutely fine. She doesn't look that she's too skinny. She is a slender cat, but this is at that age where she's just coming into adulthood. So she's going to be a little bit more slender. She's not going to be as bulky as she would be later in life. I'm going to go forward so that we get on the damn wall with the sunrise because it's going to be spectacular as they come over. There we go. So you can see. Um, so I think she's getting more than enough nutrients. She looks healthy. She doesn't look as though she's in any way impaired by the fact that karula has been away. I mean, obviously she would have fed better if Karula was still around, but at this stage, she's doing just fine. I think she's going to be absolutely fine. I don't think she's going to worry too much. And she seems to have negotiated this month away from her mom just fine. So I think she'll be all right. There we go. Come sit down in the beautiful sun. Isn't that amazing? Backlit with that golden road. That's absolutely spectacular. Where are you running? What's wrong? Oh, she's seen an impala. So there's an impala just off to my left here. James, you were asking if Shungile was confronted by another female, would she defend this territory or run off? She'll run off. She's not going to defend this territory. She's still a young leopard. She's going to be very insecure about what's going on. She's nervous that her mom is not around. And so, yes, she's going to be very, very, very aware of the fact that she's small and not going to be able to defend herself very well at all. So she won't engage in any confrontational sort of vocalizing or scent marking or even a fight she's going to try and get away as quick as possible but look how clever she is already both her and Hosanna are very clever individuals one ran off into the Mulawati Hosanna went back down to these mud wallers and is now coming round because this impala that's on our left hand side here which I'll go forward so you can see is watching clearly and trying to see what's going on it's sense that there's something around but it's not 100 percent sure but both these leopards are now using this fact that they can go round into the thickets and they're using the sun to their advantage that impala staring into the sun as you can see for us look at how bright this area is here very difficult to see and so the leopards are actually using that sun to now come around and then potentially stalk that impala but the impala has now seen them is shouting at them i think Kosano is out in the open here i can't see very nicely myself now it looks like they might be heading down towards the mulawati so I'm going to just try and see. I see a sign is straight in front of us here. Yeah. It's difficult to keep tabs on these two. So we've got a little spider web. I do apologize about that. It is early morning and some of the bark spiders have been quite active during the night, which means we have a few spider webs around. So I do apologize. But when Sana is just sitting here, you can see in the golden light, watching where Shungile has gone now. I think Shungile is already down in the riverbed. So I'm going to just try and go around and see if I can't get the two of them because it will be spectacular. If we're sitting in the river, they should come over the top of us with that beautiful morning light. It will be amazing indeed. And look at his little tail twitching. So he's obviously seen his sister. And you can actually see the spider webs across the grass there as well. And there the birds making a noise. So that's where Shungile is. She's obviously disturbed some Franklins. And there goes Hosanna to go chase after them. So I'm going to try and get around and see if we can't get a visual from the other side before we lose them because if they go across and I can't get round in time we're not going to be able to keep up with them but isn't this fantastic to see the two of them together again it's been I don't think we've had the two together since the Karula disappearance so I would imagine it's over a month that we've had these two uh, together so really special to have them playing around So I try and get into position and try and find these two little hooligans again. Let's go across to Jamie, who seems to be doing being a hooligan of her own. <laughs> 